Hi and welcome back to Alan Video Tutorials. Today we are going to move on to design a truly intelligent digital assistant being able to complete literally any task in your app through voice. As a recap, in the previous video we built a custom voice assistant and embedded it in our app. Our assistant is rather a chatbot now. It can talk to users or answer their questions, which already makes it a great asset to your business. You can easily add more intents to the voice script and launch it, for example, in the custom support space. But in this video we will take it a level up. We will build a voice assistant that will listen to users' requests and take actions in the app in response. In our sample Flutter app we can perform only one action – tap the button to increment the counter. Let's see how we can do the same with the voice command. We'll start with the voice script. In Alan Studio, let's add a new intent to increment the counter. Now, when our users say this phrase, Alan will reply, incrementing the counter. Together with playing a response, we want our assistant to actually complete a task in the app. To do this, we'll send a command to increment the counter from Alan's voice script to the app. Let's add another play function to the intent and specify a JSON object for our command in it. We'll name our command increment. Beside the command name itself, the JSON object can have any other data that needs to be sent to the app, but for this tutorial we'll keep it short. Time to test it in the debugging chat. As you can see, our command is sent every time we say increment the counter. Let's proceed with handling this command in the app. When we were adding the Alan button to the app, you might have noticed the handle block in the button code snippet. This is the place where we tell our app how it must react when it receives commands from Alan's voice script. Right now, it simply writes every received command to the lock. We'll open DevTools and check what we get. Increment the counter. Incrementing the counter. Increment the counter. Incrementing the counter. Let's update our handler. When the app receives a command, the handle command function will be invoked and the command data will be passed to it. And we'll set up the logic for handle command below. Here is how it works now. If the received command is increment, we'll use the increment counter function we already have in the app. This is the same function we call when the user taps the increment button. Let's play with it in a real app. Increment the counter. Incrementing the counter. Increment the counter. Incrementing the counter. This is a really simple example of how you can complete tasks in the app with voice. In a similar way, you can trigger any activity you need, for example, navigate between screens, populate fields with the data the user provides, enable and disable options in the app, and so much more. For a real-life example, head on to Allen SDK Flutter repository and get our Flutter Shrine sample app. This is a completely voice-enabled shopping app that can give you a lot of ideas of how you can implement a voice interface in your app. Check it out. Show accessories. Which accessories would you like? We have several types available. Vagabond sack. Stella sunglasses. Whitney belt and six others. Do you want to hear more? Show me Whitney belt. Added one Whitney belt to your order. Would you like to add more items or check out? Check out. Now try it yourself to voice enable every task and every workflow in your app. 
and stay with Alan AI for more.